Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up a push to mute button for Rocket League with the new voice chat system so that you don't have to worry about things like this. Oh man, my teammate's so bad. I can hear you. <laughs> oh crap, and you can carry on doing this. Uh, that was my bad. I rotated slowly and could get there. Honestly, pass to them some more, why don't you? Now in order to do this, you will need to download some software, notably this VB Audio Voice Meter Banana software, as well as the VB Audio cable from the same website. I will leave links to both of these bits of software in the description below, but just remember that you will need these both. So obviously this is only available to people on PC. So just install those two things and then restart your computer. I think it is mandatory to restart after that and then you will be good to go with the next phase of it. Now, some of you might be familiar with voice meter banana already, uh, particularly if you like a streamer or content creator, it's quite common for those, but some people are using it for other things as well. And we're gonna go over two different ways of setting this up. And the first way is gonna be just purely using voice meter banana for Rocket League audio only. And the other way we're gonna do it is if you're already using voice meter banana for your live streaming, maybe you're using it to manipulate your voice and add a little bit of EQ and stuff on there. So to start off with, to control the Rocket League voice comms only, is you need to go into this hardware input one up here and select your microphone. Now, one thing I should mention before we get any further is that when you are opening voice meter banana, you must run it as administrator for this to work because otherwise the macro that you're gonna use as your hotkey, that's not gonna work without. But what you need to do is select your microphone from this drop-down list. Now, as you can see, it's got the WDM microphone Yeti Nano selected. That does not work for me for some reason. It makes my voice really crackly. So I always set mine to the MME microphone. It, it's just a different way of processing the audio. So it shouldn't really matter. But if you're having trouble with voice crackling and stuff in it, then just select one of the other ones and it should work for you. And that is going to set your microphone input. Now, your output is over on the right hand side up here. And this, you see we've got A1, A2 and A3. And these are your three different outputs. So A1, we've currently got set to our speakers. So what we are going to do is again, we're gonna go down to the MME ones because like I said, it crackles if not for me, might not for you. And we are gonna select the cable input, VB Audio Virtual Cable, which is the little virtual audio cable that we downloaded and installed earlier. So we select that. And now you can see down here, we ignore all of this top section up here. Well, except for the actual inputs, all the IntelliPan equalizer stuff. We ignore all of that because that's actually for controlling your system audio. All we need to pay attention to is this little button here, which says A1. That means that this microphone is being sent to the A1 channel, which is this fader right here. The A1 is an output and that's what you've just set to your cable input there. Getting your audio from your microphone into this virtual output that we're gonna set in Rocket League. So next up, what you want to do is go into the menu and then you click this run macro buttons on voice meter start. Now I've already got it ticked, so I've got a macro up here. And this is what you will come up with once you've selected that option. And all you need to do then is right click this and it will bring up this button configuration screen. And as you can see, I've got it labeled as push to mute, push to mute. It won't say that for you, but you can put that in if you like. Next up, we've got the button type, which I've got set to two push positions. That basically means it's a toggle button. So I press control and M once and that mutes it. If you set, select it to push button, you can, you can select that to push button and it will be a hold version instead. And that will just hold, hold mute for you. Then you select your keyboard shortcut. I've got mine set to control and M, but you can set it to whatever you want. And then this part is the really important bit because this bit will be blank for you when you first open this up. And this right here, bus one, what we need to do for this is set this to bus zero for this specific setup. So bus zero is A1. That's all you need to know is bus zero is A1, bus one is A2, and then so on and so forth. It's always like the one number below. And that is it. That is all you need for that macro. So you just hit okay. And then you see control and M. So now if I press control and M, you can see the mute goes red on this. And then I press control and M again and it unmutes. So that is now muting that virtual cable output. So now all we need to do is open Rocket League. 
So now once you are in Rocket League, you go into your settings, go into the chat tab, and then you go down to this voice chat input device and you select that cable output VB audio virtual cable. So make sure it's not set to your microphone, make sure it's not set to default, make sure it's specifically set to that cable output VB audio cable. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And that will mean that your input from Rocket League is just taking it out of voice meter and your if you were wanting to do it while streaming, your stream will not be interrupted by that push to mute button. It will just be Rocket League itself. Now, if you are already using Voice Meter Banana for your stream audio or for your desktop audio or whatever, then it's likely that you've got other things configured in here and you might already be using that VB audio cable. In those cases, you might have to make a sacrifice for whatever, whatever else is using it, or you're just gonna have to put up with not using it. But if you do want to set it up for specifically for Rocket League, then all you need to do is to have A1 plus A2 selected, and then your A1 will probably be set to whatever your regular audio, audio output, output is. is. And then, and then your, your audio, audio 2, two which, which is, is the A2, A2 output, output, then you then just you select, select that, that to your V virtual, virtual cable. cable. And then, and instead, then instead, of instead of setting your, your shortcut, shortcut to, to bus, bus zero, zero, you just, just change, change this, this to bus, bus one. one. And that's really all there is to it. It's not a great deal of effort. I think it's very achievable for most people on PC. But uh, if you are having problems with it, what I will do is I will leave two videos down in the description below, which uh, are kind of more of an in-depth guide into setting up macros in voice meter, as well as a more in-depth guide to voice meter itself. And with those two videos it should be a lot more clear for you. But if you have any more problems after watching those, then you could always try reaching out to me on Twitter and I can try and help you out as much as I can. There's links down to those in the description down below. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. It's always it's nice to get those anyway, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.